One of the most interesting concepts that I have learned in powerlifting is the idea of introducing a minimum stimulus or a minimum dose required in order to create a change or an adaptation. And this actually applies really well to leadership. Oftentimes we're confronted with problems and we get to a point where we want to throw everything and the kitchen sink at that issue. But that's not a good idea. I'm Miranda Walachowski. Welcome to Leadership Warm Up. So it's not a good idea for three reasons. Number one, if you throw an inordinate amount of resources, time, energy into a situation at the front end, how sustainable is that? How can you ensure that you will continue to check in on that problem, address the problem, refine the solution as you go along? Oftentimes what happens when we front load something a little bit too aggressively, then we end up burning out um, and deciding to actually abandon the effort altogether. The second reason it's not a good idea is that you will not garner wisdom. How will you know which variables, which stimulus that you introduce actually made a difference? Some variables may have a really nice positive effect, others null effect, and some may actually be counterproductive. And so if you take the time to step back and introduce a minimum dose, a minimum stimulus, and be able to assess whether it's working, um, and then building from there, that is just gonna be a lot better return on your investment in terms of energy and time and being wise in how you address the problem. The third reason it's not a good idea is that you lose the opportunity for momentum. So I don't know of anything that would be more motivating than to introduce a small stimulus and seeing a positive response. And what that's going to do is it's going to then fortify your ability to and motivation to then keep doing that repetitively. And what that will do is it will create a cycle of continuous quality improvement. So whatever issue you're dealing with right now, you may be tempted to want to throw everything but the kitchen sink at it, but I challenge you to take a step back and ask yourself, what is the absolute minimum dose required to actually effectuate a positive change in this situation? And I think you'll be surprised at how well that works. Thank you for being here and until the next one. Bye.